Starting with this, Placer County Sheriff's officials speaking out tonight after the office was hit with a federal subpoena. Now, at the same time, KCRA 3 has learned of several other internal investigations underway in the department. And tonight, the Placer County Sheriff's Department acknowledges the subpoena and the other unrelated investigations. KCRA 3 Sharakina Shams joins us now with what she's learned. Kelly Golson, we also know that a number of sheriff's staff, including deputies, have been under internal investigation for what the department calls personnel matters. Now, tonight, a Placer Sheriff's Lieutenant says those investigations are unconnected to that federal subpoena. It was during the first week of August a federal subpoena was served to Placer County's under sheriff. We don't know what the subpoena is for, and Placer County Sheriff's officials could say little today. Um, I'm not allowed to, to speak about the, uh, the federal subpoena, but they're asking for you know, documents or, or uh, evidence of some sort, then we would uh, produce that. The agency did tell us the subpoena is unconnected to a series of internal investigations of staff, including sheriff's deputies. The department can't offer details of confidential investigations, but KCRA 3 has learned through multiple sources that one deputy is being investigated for sending text messages, including the N word. The department confirms that another deputy was recently fired, and sources say it was for, quote, inappropriate use of county time. The agency also confirms a correctional officer recently resigned, but they can't say why. I think every now and then, sometimes maybe there seems to be more internal investigations than other times, and maybe this is an uptick, but I wouldn't say it's an unusual uh, occurrence. We asked criminal defense attorney Johnny Griffin about the subpoena. He said it's uncommon for a federal prosecutor to serve a subpoena to a law enforcement agency. That does not necessarily mean that the sheriff's department is under some type of investigation or target, but it doesn't exclude that perhaps a member or someone involved or connected with the sheriff's department may be under some type of investigation. Now, it's worth noting that we're learning all this just one month after another Placer Sheriff's deputy, Kenneth Scogan, was arrested for allegedly having sex with a minor. But in these more recent incidents, the Sheriff's Department says they have not found any criminal wrongdoing. They do say if they do, they'll forward that to the DA's office for possible charges. Colston? So, again, Char, just for uh, clarity, this, it's a federal subpoena. Do we know anything about what happens next? The U.S. Attorney's Office, Colston, has declined so far to talk about the subpoena, but Placer Sheriff's Office. Office does say the county's attorney. So, county council is determining what that subpoena is seeking and how to respond. All right, we'll continue to follow it along with you. Thanks, Sharo.